go that ladder. So students who obtain your higher national diploma from SLEET can go to Univertech and obtain a level 7 degree yeah, qualification yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, that facility is also there. In mm. addition to uh, that Ministry of Higher Education nowadays that uh, mainly focus on develop qualification framework system for country. I am the member of uh, that committee. Uh, that qualification framework means that uh, secondary education and tertiary education. We can develop some uh, uniform system until PhDs. Right. So, and it is skills based. So, yeah. how can you incorporate, how do you incorporate the skill based aspect in the curriculum? Do you have uh, in plant training? Do you have attachments with industry? What do you mean when you say it's actually skills based? How is it different from a academic and theoretical content of a, a university that we usually think about? Very good question you ask. Actually, that uh, that is the uh, main difference between degree courses and our courses that our diploma courses we have a theory as well as practical mainly that uh, one example that higher national diploma in engineering we have a three years theory program in addition to six month in plant training that six month to one year we have that implant training program. That means we are our students uh, enter to market or industry and get their exposure. After that, we will give their uh, diploma certificate for them. Right? That means we are mainly focused on the skills. So, do you have a strong rapport with the industrial sector and how do you go about building uh, ties with local bodies and the industry? Very good question you ask. Actually, that uh, nowadays, uh, that uh, World Bank and ADB also uh, give an assistance for us to establish program advisory committees. That means that I mentioned earlier. Now we have uh, nine disciplines. Right. That nine disciplines means we can establish nine program advisory committees engineering we can get that civil engineering sector uh, electrical engineering sector electronic engineering sector mechanical engineering sector private and government sector organization as the members of that program advisory committees that agriculture sector you can see that uh, mainly animal husbandry crop science uh, that uh, forest harvesting these areas we can select that government and private sector institutions. That uh, accountancy, you know that CIMA, Chartered, SIM, these several uh, institutions are there. Private and government sector bodies are there. That banks, actually we can get them as a stakeholders of this program advisory committees. Uh, I, won't, I would say that uh, 31st of March, we will establish this program advisory committees. Right. So then yeah. also, are you planning to get your lecturers from the industry? What is the strategy do you have for the teachers? Where do the teachers come from? What is the teacher training strategy? Do they come also from the industry? Yeah. Actually, that uh, our main academics, we uh, that our schemes of recruitment, we mentioned that second class upper bachelor's level, second class upper degree or first class. In addition to that some areas, especially financial management, that accountancy field, that IT, some uh, IT languages, uh, agriculture, some forest harvesting areas, we need some industry experts. We have that uh, component there, each and every institution, we have that component, right. Then actually we can uh, develop that industry link with them and our student also can get what's their that uh, objectives and what's their uh, aspiration of the their programs that is the way we will develop in addition to actually uh, very near future i will establish training division uh, under the uh, 21st century project uh, under World Bank, 
uh, that training division we thought some uh, limited period we can send our student, our lecturers, our academics to industry and get 2-3 months exposure there. Then actually they are well capable to do the uh, lectures to compatible with the industry requirement. Right, so that was a lot of information and a yes. wealth of information. We will take a break now and we will be back with you very soon. Thank you. Welcome to In Style. I enjoy myself. Tell me what you want in here. If they have a very small house. I like an editorial shoot, a fashion mm -hmm. shoot. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's happening outside this country. It's my life. Welcome back. You're watching Roundtable and we are with Mr. H.T. Kamal uh, Padmasiri. He is the Director General of the SLEAT, that is the Sri Lanka Institute of Advanced Technological Education. Uh, so, to f continue from the point we started, yeah. I was asking you the connection between the industry and also the SLEAT itself yeah. and also the staff training cap capabilities that is introduced to the system. Yes. So on the same note, uh, Mr. Padmasiri, can I ask you about the development of the curricula and the, how the curriculum is developed? Yeah, actually good question you asked that uh, I can uh, uh, give some examples about this uh, uh, mainly uh, nowadays mm -hmm. we have a uh, uh, foreign uh, assistants, mainly Austria and Netherlands. Uh, this is the 21.9 million euro mm -hmm. they given to update and upgrade our high national diploma in engineering. There is a picture shown on the screen. This is the actually that uh, we signed the agreement with the two countries. Mm. Mainly uh, Austria, they have a uh, that Austrian government nominated a uh, very prestige institution that called MCE Industry Link uh, in Austria. We signed the agreement with them. In addition to Netherlands, they have a GEMCO uh, that also nominated by the Netherlands government. This is picture that uh, I signed with them. Right this agreement last year. Uh, under this, actually we will uh, develop higher national diploma in engineering and uh, mainly we will introduce very near future megatronics, it is a new area. In addition to uh, that highways engineering, it is a new area. We will, in addition to electronics, these are the new areas we will introduce through this uh, Austrian and Netherlands funds. Not only that, that is the curriculum develop, 